This is Shelly Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're coming to you from the Planet Microcap Showcase 2019 in Las Vegas. With me today is Suzanne Maglucci from Charles and Colvard. CTHR is the publicly traded company symbol. Suzanne, welcome back to SNN Live. Thanks for having me, Shelly. It's always a pleasure to have you. Let's get started uh, with a brief overview of the company and we'll go from there. Absolutely. So Charles and Colvard is a 24-year-old company. We're actually the original creator of a gemstone called Moissanite. It's a lab-created stone. Actually, everything that I'm wearing today is my product. Um, it is created in a laboratory which makes it a sustainable and ethically sourced product, Shelley. Um, what we do is we actually craft the gemstone itself, we put it in beautiful jewelry, and we sell it through an omni-channel strategy, meaning that we're in a lot of places wherever she may be shopping. You may find us in certain uh, department stores, in fine jewelry stores, and you'll find us in a lot of places online. Um, my customer is the millennial. Um, she is looking for that ethically sourced product. Um, and she's out there and she's shopping primarily online. It's a huge opportunity for us, Shelly. Um, it's a $75 billion global jewelry opportunity, an $8 billion lab-created gemstone opportunity, and we're just excited to be in the market at this time. So, what's new? Let's get an update on the business. Sure. Um, I think last time we spoke, we were talking about the pivot that was happening with this company, that we were going from being a very traditional company, meaning that we were creating the gemstone and then selling it to the market through my distributor partners. And we wanted to change that dynamic because we felt like we needed to have a relationship with the consumer, right? We wanted to have a dialogue with her and help her understand what it is we do, why we're an ethically sourced product, why we may be a partner to her as a brand. And so we've been pivoting this company and becoming much more an online company where she can find us, where she can interact, she can talk to us on social media, she can come to our website and learn. And so we've been working very hard at just that. And I'm pleased to say, you know, we have Q2 financials that are up. Um, it's our second financial quarter, which is actually the holiday season that ended December of 2018. And we're thrilled to say that the pivot has really taken place. More than 50% of my business is now online. So she's coming directly to us by way of these online channels. We surpassed the $10 million mark for the quarter in our revenue numbers. Again, more than half of that is through my online channels. In fact, our direct to consumer website, charlesandclavard.com, had 52% growth over last year. So this is a nice validation that she's coming and she has a relationship with us. What it does for the business and my shareholders is it increases our, um, our margins. So we saw very healthy margins of about 47% over this holiday season. Um, and in fact, it's our second profitable quarter, Shelly, I'm pleased to say. Uh, two consecutive quarters now, um, uh, growth in earnings per share um, as 67% over last year. Um, we put up uh, $1.2 million um, in profit. So pleased to say that the model is working and the pivot has taken place. So I want to ask about milestones that you achieved. So um, I would say certainly being profitable is, is a significant milestone for the company and for my shareholders. We're, we're pleased to be there. We figured out how to, how to manage a healthy and profitable business. I would also say the presence that we have in online channels is a very significant milestone. In the previous history with the company, we were very tied to just a few distribution channels. And so we had this risk in that we had only a few places where we were placing our bets for our sales. Today with online channels, we have dozens of channels. In fact, um, some significant milestones over the past few quarters. We're now live in Germany, France, Italy, Spain, Australia, and all of these are new online channels where we're going to market. We have the world's most brilliant gem, and now we have channels where we can bring it to her globally. So, in terms of, and I, I, I want to get to the global growth in a minute, but what happened with the margins? How did they increase? There's two important factors on how we grew margin. Number one, we're selling through our Forever One product. It's our premium brand of moissanite. There's other moissanite product on the market. We have competition, uh, but we're not finding any that are quite at the level of this Forever One product. It actually now represents 88% of my sales. And we see some very nice margins in this product. It, has, it comes with a premium. Secondly, the online channel piece actually allows us to go directly to that consumer. If we're taking out the middleman and we're removing certain of the costs that come with distribution channels, I can then actually take that money back and, and give it to my shareholders. And so that's ultimately where we're bringing in these 47% margin points. 
Now let's talk about global growth yes. and where are you going and how are you getting there? So global is important for us. M most of our business is still in the United States. Um, about 88% this past quarter was, was United States. Um, but we know that there's a global customer out there. So in order to reach her, much like we've learned in the United States, we need to be everywhere she is where she's buying. Um, we believe that there's a nice opportunity in using marketplaces as the way to test a market. I think of it as market research. You know I come from a marketing background. To me, it's about understanding the audience, measuring her, understanding what she might buy. And marketplaces are a very low overhead, low cost way to do that. I can take my listings, much like I do on my own website, charlesandclovar.com, and I can list them on Amazon in Germany. And then I can see who that German customer is. I can put those listings in Spain, and I can see who my Spanish customer is. And she's going to vote with her wallet, and she's going to tell me what the products are that she likes, um, and whether or not there's uh, a customer in Spain or Germany for Moissanite. Once she does, I can then curate the product that's perfect for her and, and, and sort of cull down those goods that I put out on those marketplaces so I can speak to her by way of the curations we bring to market. Once we have that figured out, then we can determine whether or not we need more of a landed strategy in each of these countries once we know there's a customer. And then the marketplace's revenue helps us pay for our way there. The other thing that we're doing, the second big one, Shelley, is we're, we're doing some local advertising in these new regions of the world, a little bit of Google type stuff, and that's also bringing customers back to our US site, and that's what we call cross-border trade. Um, our cross-border trade grew 250% this past quarter over the past year, and that's because we're starting to advertise, create awareness for the brand, and then we draw that consumer in to our US site. That's lovely because I can keep that inventory on the shelf in North Carolina where we're based, but I can share it globally and then uh, and show all those wares. So when she comes to our site, she can see thousands of options as opposed to the few curated goods that she might see in a local marketplace in her country. What are some of the latest trends? Hmm. So I would say there's two biggies. Lab created is absolutely a trend. Um, you'll see that there's lab created diamond coming to market. Certainly there's more moissanite product coming to market. Um, we're finding that in this millennial consumer, she is interested in something that is sustainably sourced. Um, she wants to know that the metals that she's buying in her jewelry are sustainably sourced. She wants to know that the gemstone is. And, and you know, there's, there's history in uh, the mined gemstone world that uh, not all of those options are sustainably uh, generated. And so the beauty is for moissanite, it will always be. You, moissanite is a very rare mineral. You can find it in the earth, but in such tiny amounts, you can't create it into gemstones. So we know if you have a moissanite gemstone on your hand or around your neck, it is going to be an ethically sourced product because it was created in our laboratories, um, bringing it forward to you. We don't know the same about, about diamonds. They're hard, to, they're hard to trace. So this lab created is very much a thing, and, and second to it is the need for those sustainable products. The beauty is for 24 years, Charles and Clovard has been that company, but it wasn't until the advent of the millennial shopper that we really found someone that was interested in these sustainable products we're bringing forward. Now you're a public company, so being that, uh, only tell me what you can tell me about growth drivers. Sure. Um, so I would say developing our online channels is a huge growth driver for us. We continue to find the right uh, platforms to bring our product forward um, with the audience. The millennial audience itself is a driver, as is the emerging Gen Z. So as she's coming of age, we're teaching her about the product, we're having a dialogue with her, so as she matriculates up and becomes more into, into her spending years, she's ready to consider moissanite. I'll, I'll show her, uh, I'll give some examples here, a beautiful lightweight piece that may be a few hundred dollars, help her um, fall in love with the gemstone, and then by the time it's time to put something on the left hand, she's become a customer and she appreciates and, and trusts our product. So it's about product expansion and it's about really being in front of that millennial audience to garner her as a lifelong customer. Suzanne, let's get your website out for more information if you would. Happy to, Shelley. We're at www.charlesandclovard.com and if you'll go to our investor relations site, you can see some of the materials that Shelley and I have talked about today in our corporate presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Suzanne Miglucci, Charles and Colvard. It's a publicly traded company and the symbol is C. T-H-R. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the Planet Microcap Showcase 2019 right here in Las Vegas. Suzanne.
Always a pleasure. Thank you, sir.